everyone, hey and welcome back to yet another episode of Battle Rock Resume, yet another interview. I love doing these sort of catch-up sessions with battlers, you know, we've, we've got a battle to talk about today, but we've just got a lot to talk about in general. love having Gemini on the show, and just before we get to Gem, as ever, please follow the show on all the platforms we're on, on iTunes, leave us a review, or on Patreon as well if you want to listen to episodes early. Pretty much anything, like this episode for example, anything that kind of comes out interview-wise, it'll just go on the Patreon first, you know, probably for a few weeks at least. So if you want to support the show, you want to, you know, get something out of the show as well, you can go over to there and definitely help you know donate and help keep the show going um we have our youtube channel of course please subscribe on there we also have the red bubble there's various merchandise if you want to pick that stuff up thank you to everyone that's been listening you know this has been uh it's been great doing these episodes of late and uh great to welcome back gemini how's it going man yo what's good i yo. spoke to you in a minute how it's, are we yeah good man it's um i'm trying to think the last time we spoke I, was it after the swave battle like when it didn't surface or yeah, 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 I think so, yeah. I mean, like, you know, fair to say, and I'm very happy because, obviously, when, when I watched this Raptor Battle, I was just like, oh, my God, like, you know, I watched this several times because of your performance. I was, you know, yeah. really, really can't wait to get into this stuff. Great, great material. But, you know, it, it, it's kind of all worth it, isn't it? Like, you don't battle as regularly as Raptor says. You don't have this kind of, you know, regular schedule, but you, you seem motivated when you take the battles you do, and the outcome is great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always kind of... I don't really want to take battles that I don't want, if that makes sense. Or, mm, mm. or just a lot of people, I feel they battle just for the constant ego boost. Like I don't feel like that's why I battle. I battle because I want to battle. Right, right, yeah. Like, I'm not I'm not fussed if my name's not getting talked about or it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I mean, this battle, obviously, Raptor you versus Raptor was supposed to go down at North East South. Um, unfortunately, it didn't go down there. I, I think it would have been a, it would have been a great battle. Then, what, what happened yeah. there? What, why didn't it go ahead? Uh, I couldn't make that due to saying that I kind of explained a little bit to uh, the people who I had to, like, don't flop. I messaged Raptor first. And then, and yeah, and then he couldn't make the second one, um, which was meant to be in where Yunnan and Quill battled. Right, right. battled. Yeah, the last word, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we kind of evened out in the end. And it, you know, it seemed inevitable, really. I mean, both of you had had spoken it probably about a year ago, or so hadn't you? Like a rematch kind of had to go down. Yeah, like, like I kept the bars because I said to them, man, I was like, well, if it's getting rescheduled, like the first time, I was like, just let me know in it because if they're not, I was just gonna drop the bars in it. Um, mm. And they were like, nah, we'll get it in. So obviously, Raptor can make the second one because he had some shit going on, and I was cool with that. I was like, cool, yeah, it's just whenever in it. So they said I was meant to be battling. That was it. I was meant to be better than Toomey, in it or whoever. Mm-hmm. I don't oh yeah, yeah. Pronounce his name. I ain't really gonna front. I ain't really seen much of him in it. Right. But um, I got a phone call from Briggsy. I was in Spain and like I get a phone call from Briggsy. Like and he's like, yeah, my man's pulled out. And I was like, oh right. I was like, I was cool with it. I was like, alright, cool in it. Mm. He's like, but I rapped it. I was like, yeah, fuck it. Like we just got it done there. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, totally. And I mean, talk to me about these bars that we're hearing in this battle. Were these kind of written fresh or were they kind of lingered from old events? No, like, most of them were old. Mm. Um, but, obviously, every time, like, the battle didn't happen, like, I was like, all oh, right, well, he's probably going to talk about something else. So i got to have, like, I was like, I've got to have, like, my shield up for certain things, like, not making it to North versus South, then talking about him pulling out as well, and just shit like that, and I just thought I had to add a few things in here and mm. there. Mm. And, you know, in this battle, one of the overriding themes is y- your initial battle that you had, um, you know, it's kind of interesting that you both kind of dissect it in your own ways. How important is that battle, do you feel, to both of your kind of trajectories? I mean, it's where we always, like, I think that's the time people start feeling like, rah, like, these two are going to fuck shit up. Like, mm. before that, like, I think they were both rating us. But, like, I feel like that battle kind of over overshine like that event in it it was the main battle that event really and yeah like in my opinion in it and i feel like a lot of the public on that day in it that was like the most hype battle like yeah. Yeah. and we had stolen arc on the card italian yeah and a lot of other people so i feel like we just surprised every man with that battle like it weren't they didn't expect that so that's why i feel like it meant a lot for both of us mm-hmm, definitely after that we both kind of got put on a higher pedestal in it like mm. just jump just because of that battle alone mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah no that's totally true that that was quite a good event wasn't it those battles you listed like you're like yeah. surprising for like i think it's like raise the bar wasn't it or something yeah yeah it was the end of the raise the bar tour that thing where they were like going around all the end uh all the places in england and that mm-hmm. yeah like, no. so in all them places and nuki and shit 
yeah no there was some, some great some great shit that went down I, I remember actually it's weird how some memories stay with you but i remember going to blackpool with my girlfriend for no reason other than just to go and i was on the train back board and i was looking for my phone and i remember the battle had gone down and maybe it was callum martin or someone who was doing the updates and i think bagnall was even tweeting about the battle going crazy about it being like this has changed everything like you know excitement was high yeah yeah no i feel like yeah, because like since then, I feel like me and Raptor have been like spoke about quite a lot, like ever since mm-hmm. that. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely. And, and um, Raptor to that point, I was, I was to be honest, I knew him a lot better than I knew you at that stage, purely because yeah. of words of weapons. I was just like, love that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing all his grand battles on that first. Yeah, yeah. That was like, I mean, it's a case of like, you know, you weren't battling at a certain point, but Gem, I would have loved to have seen you battle on words of weapons. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what happened to that minute. Um, mm. I don't yeah. know if they do battles in that. Um, yeah, I mean, no. I've been to on beat battles in it. I just haven't. Like, mm, mm, I used yeah. to clash man back in the day, like in real life, like, yeah. like in school and stuff like that. Like I grew up doing that shit, so I don't yeah. really mind the on beat thing. The mm-hmm. bigger challenge was the acapella thing in it because I could already rap on beat. Like I was already doing my thing, like mm. making tunes and that. So it was more the acapella, but. No, I, I do it on beat belt. I just ain't been approached for one, really. Actually, that's a lie. I got approached for one for 6.5. Mm. Because that was like right off the big T. I was just chilling. Right, right, right. And, I mean, talking of challenges, is it hard as a writer to, to like, write another three rounds for someone you've battled fairly recently? Was that was that a, a tall stumbling block? What, for Raptor? Yeah, did you feel, you know, because you're battling him again, you've, you've sort of spent all your energy on him. I know a lot has happened, but... No, nah, like... I wrote uh, the three rounds I wrote for Raptor when I first battled him. I didn't really know nothing about him. Right. It was almost easier writing this time because mm. so much had happened. It's easy to make angles for me, and I'm like I find I like angles more than just punching in it. That's why my second round was just punches. Mm-hmm. My first round was really just angles, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so was my third. Um, like it sounds like it's punches, but my punch lines have angles. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, yeah. my whole first round, I'm just talking about like, say like in my head, I was painting it like, bro, like if I didn't do this, mm. you wouldn't have got the attention you got and all this shit. Like, yeah, if I didn't beat these people, you would have basically had to go through them to get to where we are. Like in a fucked up way, like because then you would have still had to run through Yunnan or Dialect. That was how it was back then. Like they were the people to beat. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I, was, I was painting it, but I just threw punchlines in with that. But, yeah. Um, yeah, no, the, the the logic is watertight, which is why it's so strong. And I've been thinking about battle rap in general and why are certain battlers so good? What is it they do? And you do something that Soul does, that Hollow does in this first round, where they're bars, but as you say, it's just kind of apparent truths that you can't deny. Like, you can't deny that Yunnan and Dialect were the kings when you guys came up, and you can't deny that you beat both of them, and he kind of lost to both of them. Yeah. Like it's... like, it's just, I prefer angles, innit? Yeah. Because, like, you know, I feel like if you're always just barring, like, like, I like, you know when you watch a battle and you look at the other battle that's different after the battle? Mm. Like, you, you be like, oh, yeah, he pointed out shit that you didn't think. That's always kind of what I'm trying to do in some way, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because we can all, we can all rap, we can all punch down and shit. Like, that shit's like, it's cool. But after a while, like, what what does it mean? You know when you finish watching a battle and you don't get a point out of it? There weren't mm. no point to evil person's rounds. It's just like, all right, I'm trying to always make a point. Yeah, I think, I'm not really, I often think of you as the bar guy, the, the flow guy, Jem, but it's true, actually, in the sort of big battle rap character assassinators, you're low-key, like, you know, one of the top ones, I'd say. Yeah, thank you, man. That's what I try to do, though. Like, I don't just, like, like after, like, even dialect, like, dialect, Yunnan, Raptor again this time. Mm. Even when I was battling Tox, it's always like angles. I'm always pointing out like I'm always usually trying to go for angles. Or my mm. bars can't be used. That's why I said to them, I was like, I can't use my first and my third round for anyone else. Mm-hmm. So because mm-hmm. they were already written, like I had my bars, I just threw in a bit of extra shit. Like all my bars were already there. Like so, it's like if those rounds I could only say to Raptor, you know what I'm saying? Man couldn't say them to no one else. So that's why I wanted to get this battle done because like I can't reuse these rounds. Mm. Mm, mm. and it's kind of there's something almost poetic isn't there about this being the final battle maybe what for raptor for, i mean for, for don't flop this ain't a final battle for don't flop 
but I mean, like, there is that. I, okay, I agree, it's not. But like at the start, you know, a lot of people are saying like farewell to people, and there's kind of this sense of camaraderie. Yeah, yeah, I think I think we'll see a couple. I think I, I don't know. I think some people will be about for a little longer, but I don't know. Mm. But mm. I ain't really, to be fair, I don't really get involved in that shit. I found out about all this shit better late. Like, I haven't really been watching battle rap for a couple months. Like, right. 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 I've missed out on. I need to like play catch up in it because. I've missed out bear battles, like even the ones people think like I would have watched. I've missed them out. Just, just, just watch Battle Rock resume, man. That fills in yeah, all the yeah. gaps. So just, just catch, catch up on all the episodes. But yeah, no, they I mean, as I say, the battle. Um, when we're, you know, when we're doing this episode, when this episode comes out, perhaps you know it's going to come out about a week, two weeks after we record it. You know, this battle's not been uploaded yet. It's on the pay per view at the moment. So please buy that. You know, it supports all the guys who worked very hard for this. So you know, go support that on the Vimeo. I think it's rather than Don'tFlop dot com slash pay per view. I, will it go on the Don't Flop channel? Who knows? I haven't been an upload on there. For, well, there was Quill versus Yunnan, so maybe it'll go on there, but this seems to be a sort of, you know, different crew. Who knows? So pick up the pay-per-view if you haven't watched this battle. Um, and the, the atmosphere at the start is great. You know, a sea of faces isn't there as well. Good to see Raw's there. Yeah, yeah, Raw's was about, so... <laughs> oh, man, like, and uh, how, did, how did you get there? Because obviously, you know, london base. so was it a long journey or...? No, me and my brethren just drove up there. It was a nice little drive. So it was only took us like three and a half hours. Right, right, right. But the last time I went money to do a show with Shotty, yeah, it took me like seven hours. Right. Shit. It literally took me like seven hours. So I was shook about this journey. I was like, like people are leave early. Like I'm not getting caught in it like mm. we did last time. But it was smooth. It was bare smooth. All right. My brother's got a car that drives a bit fast in it so he can just go a hundred miles an hour the whole way. <laughs> and um in the battle, uh you're rocking the Y N L C top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, I was meant to be rocking it against the uh, Tox in it, but they come like a week late in it, so I had to wear one of the hoodies, and I didn't even want to in it because I just didn't want it. But um, yeah, I made sure I was rocking um, the YNLC top. So if anyone wants a YNLC top, and there was a couple man shouts, uh, Dom, the brother that was there, yeah. he was in one as well. Like I always see a couple people at events rocking him, so that always means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. As you know, like why not see it goes towards a mental health charity. So anyone who wants to get one, just get me for now. Website will be up in a couple months as well. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Buy them just online, and we're gonna have new t-shirts and shit coming soon. Yeah, yeah, it seems popular, man. So congrats for that. Um, like you say, you know, Dom and everyone else. I've seen a lot of people wearing them in in videos and such. And um, you know, when you get to the event, how long did you have? Did you watch any battles, or were you straight into it? Or nah, you know what? I keep it a hundred. Yeah, these bars, I didn't. Like, I didn't, like, it sounds magic. Whenever you, like, practice for a battle, mm. in my head, I only remember, I only try and memorise my bars, not for that day, but for, like, that week, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's like, that's when I want the bars in my head. I'm not trying to know them two months in advance just because I feel like you got more chance of fucking up if you know them right. that well for two months. Like, you're going to get bored of them. They need to be, like, kind of fresh in your head, in it? So, mm-hmm. but for this battle... I mean, this was the demotivating part of this battle. Just car, um, I was meant to be better than Toomey. And because I had bear of the Raptor bars for so long, I put like a lot on my second round for Toomey in it. So my second round was mainly just random bars. Like I keep mm-hmm. 100 with punchlines because I wanted to have one round. I just barred out. Yeah. Um, so I put a lot of shit in for Toomey and I had my original shit for Toomey, but the order was fucked up. So when I had to put it back for Raptor, I was trying not to go into the Toomey shit. I think I did like once or twice because when I watched the battle, I was like, no, nah, those bars weren't actually <laughs> winning. Yeah, it weren't the Raptor because it was hard for me to to re-remember it how it was, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. The only thing, yeah, that was the only, it was it was long remembering these bars again because I've memorized them three times mm-hmm. differently because they got new shit, but it's the same bars, you know what I'm saying? So the third time, I was so, just didn't even care about like memorizing them because it's like i've done this i should know them even though i didn't 100 percent. so i couldn't watch any battles before this i was literally going through my bars right up until i had to be on stage <laughs> and this first round gem i i is brilliant like really you know crazy good round and it's such a long round it's like seven minutes yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Is that is that just because it's been so many incarnations? Or? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's just because every time like I felt like I wrote new bars. But the thing is, yeah, I didn't... No, because I didn't actually mean to, innit? I, I have to blame myself for this one still because I was just... I, I don't write... I don't uh, time my rounds until I'm finished, innit? So I remember it was like three days before the battle and I, 
I wrote like 85 bars or something. No, it was, yeah, like 80 bars. Mm. And I was like, that don't sound like a lot. It don't sound like a lot. I recorded it on my phone. It was five minutes. And I was like, oh, raw. Like, I was like, well, it's already written now. And most of my rounds, like my third round was longer. I cut my third round short. Mm, mm. Yeah, I've yeah. heard a lot more shit but I quickly forgot it I'm not even gonna lie so I was just like nah let's leave it but it was a long round as well all my rounds were like 80 bars yeah 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 and just the the dialect dialect Yunnan stuff as we said before the whole sequence that ends with the you know on the roadblock you're the stepping stone yeah that's probably Heavy. one of my favourite bits mm, mm. Nice. I was like cause I was just that and that's like a, it's not just something I'm saying to be saying stuff you know what I'm saying it's it makes sense in the way I'm saying it. It has a point to it. Like, I mean, kind of trying to like compare our careers and everything. Like, I've, I've I've always felt, Gem, that like you know, you attack certain cliches with such originality. You've got to sort of admire them. So there's Marvel bars coming up that I think are really well done, and then the Pixar. You're sort of talking about Yunnan when the kids not sleeping, the monsters Inc. Not really frightening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> I like that one. So. Crazy, like that. That is like really. I don't know what it is about that, but I think that's just very well played. Like it's quite a tasteful sort of bar. Yeah, safe, safe, safe. Mm-hmm. No. I like a lot of the ones just because that's the shit. Like I watch, I bang out Marvel shit to this day, and right, I was a right. Marvel fan when I was a youth. Like I watched all the fucking Spider Mans and shit on the TV and that. Like mm-hmm. so. Most of my shit's either gonna be some weird shit like that or some old school shit. Like the rest of the shit I say is bare old films, like old things like fucking Monsters Inc. and shit from yeah. when I was a kid that yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah. And you know, lots of good sort I of don't like. Watch... No, you don't watch films anymore. No, no, I say no. I don't really watch like The Wire and fucking oh, uh, right. Sopranos and Breaking Bad. I never yeah. seen none of that stuff in oh, Game shit. of Thrones, so. Uh-huh. Right, right. Um... Yeah, that like, women's in my head. Well, you mentioned Dom Toretto. Yeah, that's uh, Fast and Furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I haven't seen that one. I won't watch it because I don't like. But it's I, I've seen the trailer. And I was like, nah, it looks dead. Like he's yeah. gone back. Like fuck that. I don't even <laughs> want to see what happens. And I like them. They were good. I know what um, you mean. Yeah, it's such a lame angle, isn't it? Oh, he's, he's, yeah, he's brainwashed. Just, yeah, I'm just not gonna watch it. It's like I don't need to in it. Like it's cool. I'm cool with the seven. The seven was good. <laughs> And you know, you reference the first battle again. Obviously, one of his angles is he says your name Stone Raptor in the first battle. Obviously, we mentioned that in our original episode. It's kind of a yeah. bit of a hoax, whatever. Talk about um, Infinity Stone bars. The whole, you know, the, yeah, the Marvel yeah. stuff. Oh. Uh, I I didn't know if the crowd would pop that one off, but yeah, no, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, and because it works as well. Yeah. It's just the ones that work, like punchlines that actually like fit in and shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's really yeah, it's really really good. And you say something, Gem, that probably I think a lot of Raptor fans feel. You want the big cannon Raptor, the passion Raptor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I like that little that little segment. Just cause yeah, it worked well for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, it was good. The whole what happened Raptor material changed like a new five, and I really preferred the old feel. Yeah. Yeesh. A lot of these bars would have... Do you know how you can tell, yeah, a lot of these bars are old? Because they would have popped, yeah, a few months ago. Like, <laughs> a lot more a few months ago when I wrote them. There's a lot of bars like the the French police thing. Right, the, right, 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 yeah. The the David Hay fight. The David Hay <laughs> fight <laughs> yeah. before the battle or something. It was, yeah. That would pop. Like, it bugged me. I was like, I'm still throwing them in, innit? Like, right, even right. Doctor Strange come out that like, round in yeah. times. Like, that like, I wish like this dropped. Like I wish I did make it to North or South. I'll never chat shit. Like I fully do. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, they're like, slightly, <laughs> slightly. Out. But just, but, yeah, they're slightly like out of the. Yeah. Like, it's like fuck it. I wrote it. Like I like them, so I'm gonna say them in it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Soul against Koji did like a Tony Bellew bar or whatever. But like if someone dropped one now, it'd be like oh, it's just kind of you know. Soul against Tony. Uh no, sorry, Soul against Koji. I was thinking about Soul against Koji. Yeah. When did they battle? They didn't battle. It, um, Koji did no show for whatever reason, but Soul posted his bars, and I actually posted them on my channel. So, yeah, check them out, man. They're they're fucking good. But um, one of the bars that is kind of ageless. I like your clothes. The whole sort of change gem to the Zodiac Killer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Safe, man. That was yeah. That was fucking crazy. And um, I mean Raptor. Fair to say, some good stuff here, but slightly patchy. Sort of chokes quite early in his first. Yeah. Um. I feel like he had the same problem I had in it because he was talking to man before and he was saying, oh, it's, he's like, he knew the bars because he was spitting them all day to other mm. people. It was just, he forgot. I think it was, he was forgetting what comes after what 
And that's yeah. why I said my thing, I was, because I knew all my bots. It's just remembering what comes after which bits, like, because yeah. I'd already chopped and changed them and stuff and added new bits. Like, that week, and I added about probably a minute to each bit that week. So it's just remembering the new stuff. So I feel like that was Raptor's problem because I feel like he used some of his bars for, for me in the first place for Calico. And then when he's writing new bars, it's editing them back in with the bits that were for me. You're going to forget your shit. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, I wish you come a bit more like hyped up in it. Like I wanted that, that I wanted, cause I felt like I was on him more than he was on me. You know what I'm saying? Like he was rapping, but like, I like, yeah, I feel like there weren't that level of heat, you know what I'm saying? In the battle where it should have been. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. There's a lot of sort of, abstract raptorisms where he'll sort of describe how great the battle is or how great he is but it's not kind of like the I, i'm going to keep referring to it the yunnan dialect punch which i think is kind of a real you know crystal clear kind of punch and his stuff's a bit muddier here i mean what, what what's your take on you know could have had a shot to take the chain but battled tox on training days i mean a lot of people felt it but i it don't really mean nothing to me is it right. just because that was my decision it don't make sense it's like yeah I could have. I already said that as well. Mm. I said it in my last one. I was like, oh, man, offered me to uh, offered wanted me to battle Raptor for the title shot last year. Mm. Mm. I felt like my bar was more strong though. If you don't beat me now, it proves if you was to battle back then, you wouldn't have even got your title shot in the first place. Right. I feel like that is more here. Like I've always yeah. said, I don't to to be like if I like it don't make sense to me. Innit? Like I get it. It's a sick angle, I guess, but. For me, it didn't hit, but mm. I'm going to judge it from my point of view, which is different, you know what I'm saying, to the rest of the way the fans see things. So. Yeah, yeah. And and even if you judge battles by, you know, tears or, you know, the quality of opponent, the, the stuff you gave out versus Tox was so good that it's just kind of, you know, it doesn't really, kind of almost irrelevant just because it was a showcase yet again, whereas arguably, you know, Raptor that you point out with kind of like the Shocks battle, for example, just didn't quite you know get there and it's a shame as well that he stifles out at the end kind of ends with time yeah yeah i mean it's you know it's uh it's difficult i mean to... his bars, i liked his bars i just feel like he weren't 100 percent that day that's all it was isn't it yeah 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 but um, yeah i mean it was a good bell you know what i'm saying i feel like i took it comfortably but the Raptor did his thing. That's all I can really say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've heard a lot of people giving him rounds, so you know what I mean. Like, oh. I've heard a lot of people saying his first round was like a perfect reply to mine. So at least there's some sort of argument. You're, yeah, but I mean, come on, man. It's kind of the beginning and end is pretty haggard. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. You know, I'm just going off what I've seen, but I don't really be watching too much what other people say these days. No, no, of course. And, I mean, you're, you're second as well, kind of drawing parallels between you and him. Um, you know, the god, he, your goddaughter, he's raising his own daughter. Um, quite oh, that's, quite... A battle. that's the worst thing. Because mm. I thought I knew he was going to do in the first round that whole bit up until where I just start saying, oh, you said this to Jonah. That's mm. the beginning of my second round. Right. The rest I wrote in case he did what he did in his first <laughs> Which was be like, oh yeah, what have you been doing? I've done this because I thought that's what he's gonna do. I was like, because mm. that's, I was like, that's how he's got. I knew in my head, I was like, that's how he's gonna approach. And so he's gonna say, I don't do this. He does this. I don't do this. He does this. I battle these guys. He battles these guys. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna write this. Mm. And he did it. I forgot a couple of the bars that were in there. Like it was like. I skipped out some when I was doing it because I couldn't remember it all. But yeah, I got out how it was meant to sound. Yeah, yeah. And the whole, you know, co clines putting his mom in hospital. Um, just kind of, it's it's the it's the kind of paradigms you jump through, Gem, that I love. You go from quite horrific stuff here, the sort of, you know, domestic violence to kind of try, stupid trying to prove them wrong, like elbow licking. That's such a dumb bar. Yeah. Makes, such a dumb bar. <laughs> but then the multis... Equally horrific again, peel skin um, from flesh. Sounds like Velcro ripping. Yeah. Like, it's um, horrorcore almost. It was just, yeah. I don't know why I throw that bar in. I really don't. Cause it's dumb. It's, ba- it's like a bad bar, but I kind of <laughs> just found it joke. Like, so I just threw it in. I was like, this bar is funny to me. Like, I don't get it. But mm-hmm. okay. um, I love the whole uh, in Manny, but know exactly where to find dog. Like, he got a microchip in. Oh, safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
the worst thing is, yeah, with that bar, you know how hard it was for me to say Manny and change it because it was meant to be in Leeds and um, Birmingham <laughs> first, right. London. I changed it so many times, yeah. <laughs> It's fucked me up, and I was like, I need to say it in Manny, or else it's just gonna sound dumb. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then... it's like, bare times when I was practicing, I was saying Leeds, and I don't even know why I was saying Leeds. I was like, this battle's never been in fucking Leeds. Like. <laughs> it's done flop, you know, there's a chance they would have been yeah, there, but um, was... uh, just yeah, great stuff here. The whole skate dancer, Christian Gray's partner getting the contract to get beat. You know, I mean, like, really, kind of, you said this was your barring off round, and there's tons and tons of haymakers here, Jim. Safe, man. Right, you know. Yeah, that round, I literally, because I was like, my first, I knew my first and my third were angles, innit? So, and mm. angles is always a risk. I always say when you take angles, it's a risk, because yeah. they might not hit. Bars, you can always kind of rely on if they're good, they're going to hit. So, I was like, cool, I need a round where I just bar out, like, literally. Like, just have bars that I could maybe use for anyone who cares, just bars, like, just mm. bar it out, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it uh, incendiary, seriously, seriously good. Um, the whole burners on the table, science lesson. Oh, safe, yeah. yeah, yeah. <sighs> the twins burning nine eleven. That is astonishing. I thought that was kind of light. I Real? That was, I think that's yeah, heavy. I thought oh. that was like just a filler. Like my favorite bar out of that is the one they didn't react to, mm. which was the wild goose chase just to find the weapon. Right. I what? thought that was my favorite bar. I don't. I don't think I get that one. I said I'll bang his head with a bottle of grey. That grey goose. Right, 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 right. And I said, now they're literally on a wild goose chase just to fight. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hard. Yeah, yeah, that is hard. I know, that was my favourite bar out of that whole thing. And it got yeah, like yeah. fucking, <laughs> what is it? It got the crickets and shit. And I was just like, right, oh, like, you got like the nine, the nine eleven shit I thought was the worst part of that. Right. Like, thing, yeah. So it was like, it, it was weird for me. I was like, I'll bang his head with a bottle of grey off the window that like Will Smith and I am legends. Yeah. Jake's <laughs> Now they're literally on a wild goose chase just to find the weapon. I thought that was sick. Like, that is tight. Hard spot, like, but no one got the second bit, so it was just like, oh, right. But, it was just a surprise. Like when I was listening to it the first time, it was just like the image hits you quite starkly. The sort of twins burning, like it's uh, you know really effective. The whole run into a wall and you paint myself out like a cartoon. Like what the hell? I don't know. Like, yeah, it's like I, I love know. it. It's like loot, like kind of you know looney tunes, like school. Yeah, yeah, what is it? It's the Roadrunner thing, isn't it? I swear. Mm-hmm. Like, a man just paints the new road and he yeah. just goes through it, yeah. You mentioned Miss Trunchbull as well. Um, dashing kids yeah, out the class. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I look after my goddaughter a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Matilda, yeah. classic. Yeah, that was on a couple weeks ago still. Mm-hmm. No, that was on time ago, but it was on bet. It was on, like, every week, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see it, like, three times in a month, and I was like, you know what, yeah? She just be dashing these kids out of this class on some whatless shit. Like, I kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> Two-pack movie. A lot of people aren't really happy about All Eyes on Me. Yeah, obviously that one I threw in the last minute, innit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Have you seen it? I haven't actually seen it. Nah, I've just seen a lot of people that ain't happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's true, that's true. And that's, then... Look, a lot, of, a lot of them bars, yeah, that are about films and shit. Sometimes I haven't seen the film. Sometimes right. I've got, like, a little bit enough to make a bar out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your third round, a um, lot of tramp stuff with Raptor from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted to be a bully for a right, bit. Right, right. It, you know, it works. I mean, it's not definitely definitely pretty successful. And, and then you kind of do... I don't know if you've ever seen Chilla Jones versus Danny Myers. Um... But basically, no. yeah, it's pretty good. Are, are you aware that Danny Myers paid like twelve thousand grand to pay to battle T Rex? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah, that. yeah. So Chiller, Chiller does like a sort of uh, his third round, like you know, twelve grand could have paid for like three years of your daughter's you know tuition or clothes or whatever you know, and all that sort of like a trip to Disneyland, and it's really effective. And like your round is kind of echoes that. It's really you know as a way to attack someone, you can't really deny it again. Yeah, hmm. like I just like. I don't call them, but like, it guess it's personal, isn't it? But really, yeah. true, it's just shit like that's already in battle rap knowledge. Like, I know Raptor, like, as a person, person, like, we, me and him were like, yeah, we're not going to talk about no shit that's like not already battle rap knowledge, yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Sure. Like, or shit that's been said. So I just used it and flipped it a different way because I feel like everyone's done it a completely different way. They always do it in, I don't know, kind of like a jokey way or something. So I was like, let me just flip it on you in a different way. Like, so it's an angle that's been used, but no one, I think, it's done it in that way yet. Mm, mm. And how were you feeling at this point, you know, in the third? I mean, the sense that you'd won already? Uh, I mean, yeah, kind of. Mm, mm. Like, I already kind of felt like 
uh, yeah, I kind of was two two rounds up in it just because mm. he fucked up. I think in both his rounds, if he didn't, when it's like up, like, mm. and I think when he fucked up in at the very beginning, that affected his performance from there. I think he told me that he said that like, obviously after the first fuck up, it fucked with his performance, and it does. Like if you choke any time in a battle, it's really hard to get your performance back from there because your performance just feels shaken. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's not mm. clean no more. Like you're meant to look cool on stage, basically. You know what I mean? You're meant to look. Like, you can't be affected, like, it's flawless and effortless. So once that mirage, like, has disappeared, you know what I'm saying, like, for anyone, because it's happened to me, and when that's gone, you feel different on stage, isn't it? It's just how it is. You feel like you're trying to fight to earn points back for yourself, innit? Mm. Even if the crowd ain't, you'll be more mad than the crowd, innit? So it'll affect your performance. You get more flustered than that. And, it, you know, it's been quite a while since you were last battling. Like, we, it must have felt good to come back and get such a definitive win. I mean, yeah, it was. I just wanted to get this battle over with. It sounds mm. mad, you know, Like, I was excited for it, like, the first time. Second time, I was kind of. And the third time, it's like, I weren't not excited. I just wanted to get it over with now. Yeah. It was, like, been too long. Like, it's been so much bullshit. Like, it needs to just happen. Like. And, you know, after the battle concluded, did you, did you guys hang out? It wasn't there after party, wasn't there, or...? Yeah, yeah, I was chilling with Raptor the whole night. Like Raptor's my boy. Like if I'm in Manchester, I'm with Raptor, Briggsy, fucking Tox and them lot. Like them lot. Like I've been cool with Raptor since our battle. And I've been up to money to perform and shit. Like so, this battle was no bad feelings. You know what I'm saying? He don't feel nothing. Like he's just pissed off. He didn't like do what he wanted to do. You know what I'm mm. saying? Mm. No, no, understandable. And I mean, like yeah, it wasn't bad from him, but it's just a shame, really, that you know, in a sense, that it wasn't more of a contest, contest, but still. You know, crazy. Yeah, his material. I just feel like, obviously, his stumbles, his forgetting a little mm. bit, and I feel like if they never happened, his energy would have been higher. You know what I'm saying? I feel like his energy and Raptor. I feel like I feel like Raptor has more energy than me. That's the thing. That's why it kind of shot me because Raptor has more energy than me in the ring. Right. I feel like this battle, I have more than him, which is like what I thought would be the thing that works on his side more than me. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm. Yeah, when he he's a lot more, he's got a lot more energy than man. Like he be jumping around the stage, like getting right in people's faces and shit. Like he's good with that. Like his performance is fire. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he definitely needs to be a bit more aggressive in this one. But I mean, I know you said you weren't really kind of involved with it or kind of interested, really. But you know, don't flops currently sort of undecided. It seems with lots of things. What, what's your take on what's going on? I mean, I've only heard shit through like the grapevine, really, like. I think Raw's told man, like, in the first place, right. like, and this was that like, after it had been going on for a minute. Um, I mean, it's a bit fucked, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really, I don't know the deal, but it just looks fucked. I mean, I still ain't seen battles from, what's it called, Checkpoint yeah. and fucking, what's the other one? Checkpoint. Uh, the Last Word went down as well, and I guess yeah. there was a revival, I think. No, Revival, I feel like, because I spoke to them in it and I said I'm not, like, I, this battle has to come out. Like, I said that before the battle. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going to do the battle if the battle right. don't come out. That's crazy. Like, I don't want it to come out in three months either. Like, yeah. I was like, yeah. I want the battle to come out. Like, I'm not, <laughs> it's pointless, isn't it? There's no yeah. point about Because a lot of these battles, no disrespect to the battlers, but they'll drop and I don't feel like they'll have the same feel no more because it just feels like, oh, yeah, this happened. Like, even if people... Because the majority of like diehard fans, they've probably seen it on the bootlegs or the PPV. Mm-hmm. So when it comes out, it's just not going to impact like that. So I was like, I don't want me and Raptor to, to be one of them. Like, there's no point. Like, but um, I mean, it's sad that all the stuff like kind of fucked off. Like, I don't really know. Obviously, I know they got next in line two coming. That should be good. Mm-hmm. Um. I think they said they were going to do some. I don't know. I ain't spoke to her personally about it. Like, because to be fair, I don't really get involved with this. Like, this is all, like, I'm cool with all of them. So that's their issue, isn't it? That's not mine. I ain't taking no sides. I mean, I don't really, I'm not involved, so it don't really affect me. You know what I'm saying? I can be blessed with everyone. Yeah. Like, cool. Like, no, nothing's happened to me. I've never been paid off time, had no bullshit. Like, yeah. Never been paid off time that I care about. You know what I'm saying? I'm not someone who hounds man for money. When I want it, I'll ask for it. But, um, so, like, I don't know. It's just mad. Like, it's sad to see, like, Bagnall and fucking Briggsy go. I can't lie. That's, like, they're, like, hard people to replace. But, obviously, if they're not happy, they're not happy, innit? Like, no one should do something they ain't happy with. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. And what other battles do you have lined up? Is there anything you do on leagues other than Don't Flop, perhaps? 
No, no, no. But I got a don't flop battle lined up. Right. Okay. Yeah. What for? Um, for next in line or? Oh, I can't even announce the. Point. Right. Right. Of course. Of course. I'm just trying to just trying to get it out of you. But yeah, no. I mean, I think next in line is still going ahead. From, um, you know, with with Danny and all that, which is great to see. But. I mean, what about yourself altogether, man? Like in terms of uh, any pro- musical projects on the line, or um, I'm working on music. Yeah, I'm not really working on a project. I'm just working on like singles to just drop, like and just new freestyles. I'm meant to be doing my warm up session soon for SB. Um, yeah, I just got a few things, but to be fair, I was just taking a break from yeah. all this. I've just been going on holiday lately, so like I can't like what. Yeah. Um, now, like, I needed a break from all the battle. I haven't watched battles in time, you know what I'm saying? So I needed a little break from that all just because shit was doing my head in a bit. So yeah. now, like, I'm just kind of on everything. Like, I'll be back on my music shit. My next battle is the one to look out for, though. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. the one. It's the one. Okay, okay. Interesting, man. Well, this has been great as ever just to go through, um, catch up. How do people get at you on social media? Uh, usually at Gemini, that's G E M I N one underscore L D N on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, mm. and it's just Gemini West on Facebook, and that's my Facebook like page as well. All right, well, if you listen to this, I want to urge you to pick up this battle on the pay per view. You know, if it's not out yet on YouTube, it's an incredible battle. Gemini's material is fantastic. Obviously, we went over a lot of it today, but there's so much more in there, and you know, the content is just just remarkable. Gem, as always, man, it's been great to have you on. Alright, bless brother, always a pleasure.